This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch Account tutorial on what is a cache. You hear the term in computers, particularly in reference to CPUs or processors, hard drives, and in particular, web browsers. Now I'm here in Internet Explorer, and whether you realize it or not, and many newer users don't, when you visit websites, much of the content is put into a cache. What this does is it makes it faster to load those same pages the next time you come back. So you hear an Internet Explorer, browsing history, which is essentially the cache. Temporary files, history, cookies, saved patch, all this information. You can have settings and you can change it. A cache, unlike a buffer, for example, your printer buffer, the buffer is under the control of the printer. With a cache, it's more transparent. So, for example, if you go to butterscotch.com, some of this content, the images and so on, are in your cache on your computer. But that means if you come back in a few hours and this video is still here, you're not going to have to download this image or this image or this image. And so consequently, the pages load faster because your computer is reading from the cache and not having to download from the Internet. So a cache can be very useful. You can control the size of the cache in many cases. That's a cache. It speeds things up. And that's all there is to it. 